Hey guys, Danny from Salty Boys Fishing here, and today we're gonna be redoing these floors you guys have been waiting out, but we know we're not gonna do it, so we brought a special guest. We got Cody here from Reeves and Sons Construction, and he's, so gonna, nice. he's gonna make this boat finally look good again. I'm hungry. Cody, do you think we can have a lunch break? Already? It's only 11 o'clock. All right, fine. I guess we'll keep working. All right, give us the game plan. What's going on for today? All right, so we've got a little bit of damage going on here. If you guys take a peek, we lost the hatch. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this hatch up here, get it removed so we can get this old bath framing out where everything tore away at. As you can see, kind of broke up. We're going to get this piano hinge out here. We're going to go ahead and get this all reframed so this new hatch can go back in the hole steady and sturdy. And then we're going to get some LVP flooring ran on top of here, man. See if we can't get it nice and good looking up inside of here. Sound good, fellas? Sounds like a good plan. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're almost there. Finally. It's that screw right there. Yeah, this was the little, hidden guy. little guy holding us up, oh, but but now we got this piece out. We, we might just leave the floors out. We can always have access to the engines. She was back screen. She has some back bodies in her. Ah, exciting. We were never going to get to those, man. So we got this piece out right here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to get this plywood off of here. And then we're going to be reframing all the old pieces that you can see are just old and broken. And, uh, Get this thing back together, get this plywood out, and uh, be on our way. And there she goes. Got her wide open in here. Ready to get some framing on the floor so we can go start getting some flooring laid. He's building the bracing right now, and uh, Right, he, so he said a bunch of gibberish, but maybe he'll uh, be able to explain uh, it to jibber, us. Jibber, folks. Jibber, jibber, jibber. Uh, so here we go. We got. We got this little side brace here. These side braces they have at the old, the old piece, they have them as little notch pieces, so they're bra braces. So when this piece of wood here gets stepped on the major points, one, two, that we don't have any more collapse anymore. So we'll get good solid two by four to the left, good solid two by four to the right on a little bit of a bridge right here. And then we'll get our, our other ones coming across, our cross braces front and back here. And we'll be able to toenail good meat in up and down and we'll make sure we'll get good and solid so the next people that come step in here for the next couple years, they'll be good and uh, safe. Awesome. Look at that, absolute precision. So right here, Cody's building the first uh, reinforced frame. So he just took the old one, templated it up, and uh, now he's getting making his measurements, getting ready to cut it. And I'm uh, just kind of hanging out here observing because it's not my specialty. That's why we call in Reeves and Sons Construction. Reeves and Sons. So what we got here, we got the lips put around the side and that's gonna hold the uh, hatch that we're getting ready to make it'll hold it level and flush with the top and then we'll be ready to start putting on the uh, flooring so we just got to put on this side and that side and we're ready to go now fixing up the old hatch that broke Nice new wood. 
So now we clean up the place and we are ready to start actually laying the flooring. So over here we got Cody cutting up some shims to help make things level. And uh, then this whole place is gonna be done hopefully within a couple hours. We're about to run the floor from this side going that way. Um, reason being, we're gonna make sure we get all this floor glued down so when we walk on this thing and before it gets all set up, we don't have any movement that it stays stationary where we want it to stay. So we're gonna go this way, run it back that way, but we're ready to go. Let's do it. Well, instead of working, Cody's over here just singing and dancing. <laughs> now he's getting to work. Floor's gonna be laid here. It's gonna be awesome. So right here, Cody came in here and he notched out the board, not realizing the board comes this out. board this board comes out and it's our U.S. Coast Guard documentation. So, <laughs> but look at this thing. It was a perfect fit, it like a glove, <laughs> man. She man, first try. Hey, that's okay. We're just gonna leave it, and this is gonna be the home for it. That's gonna be his home. That's gonna be his home. He slotted, yeah. He no slotted. worries. All right, guys. So right here. We already got the front done, some more of the intricate cuts, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start gluing and the rest of the boat should pretty much fly down. The flooring's gonna be easy, so, or sail down as we might know in the boating world. So right here, we got this Loctite stuff, not sponsored by Loctite, but getting a good pattern in there. And this floor, it, it would be hard pressed if it's ever gonna come up again, I'd say. Stuck. Someone wants this to come up, then I don't know. They're gonna have to rip up all the plywood too, probably. Yeah, they're not good. We got this section glued down. This was kind of like where we'd do some cuts. Now we're getting ready to do some hatches. So, Cody, what's going on? We gotta give them a little love here. So we got a couple seams here where these hatches are gonna come up. So we're gonna try to stay nice and square. So when we put these boards in, we can give them nice cuts, and we can use the other parts of them on the hatch so this floor looks like it stays completely together but we're going to cut out the hatches so everything looks like it's still the same so we're making good progress here we got this hatch pretty much lined out so what we're going to be doing now is doing a whole row making our marks taking them out cutting them setting it in so that should uh help speed this thing up Alright guys, so here's a little update. Flooring is almost done, but I think we're gonna pick up this tomorrow. So we're gonna show you a little update and then uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. We are back today for the second day. We are gonna finish the flooring. So let's get right to it. Well, the first thing we gotta do now that we're here is we gotta get all these tools out on the deck and get it set up. And just like that, all the tools are out on the deck. Got the saw ready to go. Now it's just time to uh, finish up. We got about two more boards worth here. Then we gotta do the uh, engine hatch and then we're gonna clean up uh, this carpet and then I gotta order some pieces to go over uh, the stair cap. It's called, what's it called? A bull nose? Bull nose. So we're gonna get a bull nose right there and then we're gonna get a piece of trim that goes around all the edges, so. Come together though. All right, so we're kind of at a tricky part here, guys. So right here is where our port side engine hatch ends. So this this piece of board's gotta be ripped in half. So that way this piece can only pull up, it comes out. 
And then also, it's gotta go underneath the uh, couch right here. So what Cody's doing is he's got it lined up and he's making a mark right here for where we're gonna rip the board. And then he's got another mark right here because he's gonna have to notch that out so we can notch this corner out and get this piece to also sit back there and stay on seam with the whole board. You got it, buddy. Right on the money. Hey, I might be a carpenter after all. Part of Reeves' construction one day. Nah. <laughs> but if you guys aren't already, we're gonna drop a Reeves and Sons construction right there in the description as well as on our Instagram. So if you guys need anything done up in the, the Northeast Delaware area, this got guy's your man. He's gonna set you straight. I mean, he put this together in really about four hours of work. So it's just uh, the sky's the limit with this guy. Let's get it. I'm supervising the supervisor. So what we found with this hatch is this plywood was cut almost like quarter inch too short as well as on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump this full of epoxy up and down. We got a, uh, a shim cut right there as well as on this side. And that way when we put the flooring on here, we have good contact on the edges. That way if someone steps here, they're stepping on solid, uh, solid flooring instead of it being like, hanging over and then now they're cracking the lip off. So got that done. Almost done with this thing. Keep it rolling. So right here we have all that flooring done and we're coming along. Now we gotta, the tricky part here is we not only have an L shape, is, but we also come into the hatch. So we're, we're, gonna, we're having to cut this out and then this board's gonna continue on with the hatch. So we're gonna be making a couple cuts. So it's gonna be an L and then it's gonna be a cut here at the seam and then continue on. We got someone here that knows how to do math and I wish we moved to the metric system. Uh, we like the real one. So right here, we already put the, the glue below here. He's just tacking in some uh, finishing nails, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. So some finishing nails, and that's gonna lock this in place. So as we go down with the system, this doesn't start shifting on us and we'll lose our uh, straight line because this hatch is pretty pretty tight tolerance on each side. And it's uh, raised above a little bit. So what we'll do in the future if it bothers us is I'll go below there and I'm gonna shim the whole hatch down uh, because the rest of the floor is solid floor, so. Me and my boy Cody, we're getting after we're getting it. it. We can lift up the hatch and trim it. It's not going to move right here. Yeah, you almost want that gap on his back here. Yeah, because the hinge is going to cover all that. Yeah, so once this picks up, this floor it needs, it, it needs the same thickness of flooring to yep. get dropped back into that groove. Yeah, like Either that. that or it has to be sitting back far enough to then sit on okay. to the floor. This has got to be like a little vice versa thing. We got it. No big deal. Nothing to it. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I've been like 10% help. Cody's over here just pretty much doing the whole boat himself. And I'm just, I'm just over here just filming with the camera. He's lying. Yeah. He's a big help. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll catch some fish for Cody, but that's about it. <laughs> we are on the home stretch right now. Look what we got. We have all the pieces cut. Cody's doing his last test fit. Now we're gonna be start gluing everything. All the pieces are gonna be cut. And then the last thing to do is we're gonna put the hinges on and uh, give everything a trim up on the lines. And then it'll be uh, it'll be time to show you guys the final product. All right. Here Cody is putting in the final piece. No puzzle work. Oh, he's trying. 
get him some hooked on phonics if this doesn't go good. Uh -huh. <sighs> Look at that, like a glove. A little bit of pressure in the back corner for the drop and the wind. Mm-hmm. This side. Oh yeah, that is a clean fit right back there. But that's what you're here for. We are finally finished and here is the final product. hatch the rest of the hatches that we had access to here and here and over there we still have access to which is where you'll see these seams running along uh, each of them so still got our engine access and we have a really nice floor to go with it thank you guys for watching the video today if you guys haven't already hit that like button and subscribe it's the best way to help support the channel if you guys want to see Cody again he's gonna be on one of our fishing trips here very soon and a huge shout out to Reeves and Sons construction they really put this whole thing together for me. As you guys know, I'm not very good uh, doing this kind of thing. So I'm really happy with the job they did. And I'll see you guys next time.